What's going on everybody? Mr. Roller Coaster Man here and that should not be open. Uh, Mr. Roller Coaster Man here and today is a tutorial on how to make a cool muzzle flash effect in Windows Movie Maker like this one here. With sound. Um, you can do it from the sideways or the front ways. You just have to do the same steps. So yeah, let's go ahead. New project. Hang on, let me just close this. No. And we'll get our Windows Movie Maker. If you don't have it installed, you need to go to Windows Live Essentials. And when you do the install, if you don't want to have really long installations and you just want to get installed, just go into Custom Settings and only install this. So once you've got it, you'll need a program like Paint or Photoshop. I'll be using Photoshop, which I'll start opening up right now. So, first of all, we're going to need a piece of footage. Um, an example of this piece of footage is like this, which we'll be, we will be using for this video. So, very simple, just not pulling the trigger, just pretending to fire the gun, I'll play again. So, just fake recoil, basically. You can make it look more realistic if you have like an airsoft gun that has a gas slide on it. But anyways, so let's just minimize this. We need to grab that footage. So I'm gonna go ahead and drag it off my desktop and drag it in. So let's play it back to make sure everything's fine. All right. So now that we've got this, we need to find the point exactly before the gun blows back using like the previous frame tool. So, here so this is when the gun's blowing back and the frame before that is this one so now we just need to click the snapshot button up here and, and save our snapshot so now it puts the snapshot here so we need to minimize this and open Photoshop and open this. Now, that's just gonna go on my other screen. So in Photoshop, we need to get that snapshot. So when we made the snapshot, it saves it. So in Photoshop, we'll go File, Open. You can do this in Paint, um, except it's a bit harder and it's easier in Photoshop. And we need to look for the snapshot, which should be so there's a bunch of files and um, the snapshots should be where it's saved in Windows Movie Maker or you can just drag it in which is why I'm gonna do it All right hang on, hang on. oh no copy edit All right why is that what copy All right for some reason it's not allowing me to drag it all right let's just go snapshot again I'm just gonna click the snapshot button again to see where it saves so it saves in users my user my pictures so file open uh, computer like a disk C users my user um, and my pictures Right, yeah, here it is. So the capture should be here. Yep. Let me just bad. Yep, that's right. All right. Now we've got this. We need some sort of muzzle flash, which fortunately I have. I think it's on my desktop. Yeah. So for this tutorial will be needing just a simple muzzle flash this is one of the first results you'll find i'll drag it in to show you this is probably the first thing you'll find if you search muzzle flash in google images and you'll you need the back background if it doesn't have a black background it won't work so when you've got your black background you need to come down in photoshop press Control a and that selects all then press Control C, go into the snapshot, and then press Control V. Now I'm going to use the select tool, 
and you can drag it around now and now you've got this but there's still the black background so we need to come down here into the drop down menu click the arrow and go over to screen to get rid of it now just use your zoom to check there's no bright box around it sometimes there is all right so it's all good if there is you're gonna need to quickly delete that so now I need to press Control T and then hold shift and just flip it around which is gone off the screen and we need to make it pretty decent size so let's do that eh so now that we've got this we can apply the transformation and now we just want to go file save as I'm going to save mine to my desktop YouTube muzzle and we, we want to save it as a PNG file and don't name it as the snapshot otherwise it won't work now go interlaced now it's saved so we'll just minimize this and we'll come back to movie maker so now we've got this snapshot and what we need to do now is find the point where the muzzle blows back again where it blows back where the gun blows back so here and press M that splits the clip clip or you can go to video tools edit and click split so now we've got this snapshot that we don't need now I've got two pieces of footage that are split and if we play it it still plays just like normal as you can see so now we need to go and grab our muzzle so I'm going to drag it off my desktop and put it in full screen so now it's here and we need it in the middle like that so now the first thing you'll notice is that when we play it back the snapshot lasts for seven seconds which we don't want so to fix this we just need to click on the piece of footage go to video tools edit duration and we need to change this to 0 0.03 that normally works the best now when we play it back we have a muzzle flash now this one doesn't look the best but we need to add some sound because well it's not going to be really good if we're firing a gun with no sound so I'm going to head on over to sound bible which I'm doing in our window so just type pistol sound in your google and the first thing you'll probably see is pistol sounds free sound effects blah 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 sound bible all right so I'm going to look for a good one so you can listen to all of them and then when you want one you just save it and drag it in so I'm going to go to my Firefox downloads because I've already got one or maybe yeah so sorry about that that keeps playing on pause all right so I'm going to open my Firefox downloads after you've like downloaded the mp3 file I'm going to drag it in I'm going to drag it on top of the gun. So now Firefox library can go now. Uh, and now we just want to drag this to the very start like that. So now when we play it back, it will be like this. But there is two pistol shots. So to fix this, we just need to grab it and we need to shorten it. Oh no. Why won't it? Oops. Oh yes, we can show them that, sorry. Okay, yep. And then we just sort of need to drag this. Now this sound wave here, we need to sort of drag here. All right, what is going on? Right, let's play it back. Hopefully it should be working. That's oh, not that. Oh, 
Alright, there's an easy way to remove that second bit at the end, but I'm not going to go into that because you guys will probably know how to. But yeah, if you want to make a muzzle flash, just using paint or Photoshop, which is recommended, and Movie Maker, which paint and Movie Maker are completely free, and you want to make a cool looking muzzle flash, uh, then yeah, that's the tutorial. Thanks for watching.